What would you do if I told you you could have real-time frame generation on your Nintendo Switch? Well, I am telling you, it's possible. Up until now, what you have been seeing is 30 FPS gameplay on a real Nintendo Switch. Now, this is Breath of the Wild at 60 FPS using frame generation, and I'm still playing the game on real hardware. I am achieving this by feeding the video output from my Nintendo Switch into my computer using a capture card. Then, I'm using the frame generation software on the live video feed. I'm actually playing Breath of the Wild at 60 FPS using my real Nintendo Switch hardware in real time. Of course, my desktop computer is in fact helping me achieve the 60 FPS and it isn't perfect. There's artifacting and frame timing issues. These frame timing issues occur when the game drops below 30 FPS, so for the best result, pick a game with a consistent frame rate. With that being said, these are minor issues and even when it drops, it's only a little bit choppy. Otherwise, the experience is insane and it's worth it. What you're seeing on the screen is a little flawed though. It's heavily compressed. The only way I was able to actually record this gameplay was to feed the gameplay at 60 FPS that's already been fed through a capture card into another capture card. There is a lot of compression going on right now. Here's some quick footage I got on my camera so you can see what the game's like without all that compression. The only compression we've got going on right now is the video feed going through one capture card into my computer. So what does all of this mean? Well, essentially, with any console or game, as long as you have a low latency capture card, you can multiply the FPS of said console game up to three times and hopefully four times in the near future. Say you're playing a brand new PS5 game at 120 FPS. Well, you can frame generate that game up to 240 FPS. I'm not joking. The limit is how many frames the game originally has, how many frames the frame generation software is capable of creating, and how high your refresh rate goes up to. As I said earlier, we are currently limited to multiplying the game up to three times, but supposedly four times is coming out soon. Something to keep in mind is that the higher the base frame rate is, the better the experience will be. I tried Smash Bros Ultimate at 120 FPS and boy was that awesome. There was barely any artifacting and the game was smooth as butter. Of course, I'm going to stick to showing you guys Breath of the Wild because you can actually see the improvement going from 30 to 60 frames per second. YouTube's only capable of showing 60 frames per second. With that being said though, you can definitely see the difference in the artifacting between the two. The more data the software has to work with, the better the results will be. I even tried Breath of the Wild at 90 FPS and oh my gosh was that a treat. There's some artifacting issues, but who cares? I'm playing this game at 90 FPS on real hardware, man. All in all, this has major implications for the future of gaming. The most exciting major implication for the majority of you guys watching this video is that the Nintendo Switch 2 will most likely feature frame generation. The chip Nintendo is going to use is being developed by Nvidia. If you've paid attention to the news at all, you should know what this means. But if you don't, it means frame generation is 99% gonna happen. And if it doesn't, I'll be pretty dang surprised. There are further implications with this technology though. Most notably, in the future, you'll definitely be able to purchase something that you plug any old console into and you'll be able to upscale it using AI or get frame generation on that console. If you want a proof of concept, try this out for yourself with a decently powered mini PC or laptop and a capture card. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Monitors and televisions are likely to have the technology to frame generate from any source in the future as well. Most future devices and consoles will likely have the ability to upscale and frame generate without any external help. If there's enough demand for it, somebody will make an external option, seeing as I can make an external option right now with a mini PC and a capture card. If you guys remember the M Classic, it would be kind of like that only significantly better and not basically worthless. And you guys know that we've had frame generation for a while. We've had it on TVs called motion smoothing. Motion smoothing uses an algorithm that is not real time, hence adding major input lag. Frame generation, on the other hand, leverages neural networks. These neural networks are then trained using various data. Frame generation is real time. Essentially, they're both frame interpolation. One's real time and one isn't. The future of gaming is looking bright, my friends. <laughs>